Hi, my name is Martin Pringle. I'm a partner with DUS. And just want a quick question for you. As a DUS partner, what is your main objective? Now, your main objective when talking to a client is to get a letter of authority signed. Because without that, you're not doing business. So I thought I'd shoot this very quick video for you because I wanted to share with you a question that is proving for me to get LOA signed very easily. So I thought I'd share this with, especially for people who are fairly new partners to, with DUS um, and if you have recruited DUS partners in your team and if you find value from this video, please share it with them. So the question I've been using is, is very, very simple. It's something that you can take away with you right now and start using today. And it's it's in a particular format. It's, in, it's a four letter format. And the question is, if I, would you? If I, would you? Now, <clears throat> let me tell you how I've been using this question and why it works. I have been working with a, a mini cab company over the last several weeks um, from an, an LED point of view. They have been quite hard to contact after the quote was sent to them um, to get them to make a decision. Um, they've they've made a they've bought another property because uh, they're looking to expand their operation. And although the job is fairly inexpensive, I think because they've bought this property, it's been a bit of a deal breaker at this moment in time. And I received a, a text message from the owner two days ago saying, um, can't go ahead at this time, but uh, we're looking to go ahead in, at some point in the future. Which is fair enough. <clears throat> so I phoned the owner of the minicab company, said, hi Fred, how are you doing? Thank you very much for your message completely understand that this may not be the right timing for you by the way if I could show you how you could reduce your energy bill free of charge would you give me permission to get some prices for you and then I followed that up with at least from now until when you're ready to go ahead with the LED installation at least you'll be saving some money and he turned around and said, oh, oh, yeah, okay, that sounds good. I said, Fred, can I come and see you after Easter? I'll give you a phone call after Easter. Can I come and see you? All I'd need from you is a typical electricity bill and for you to sign um, some, some business details and your signature. That's all I need. Yeah, fine, no problem. Very, very simple. So why does it work? Well, the question works because it's reciprocal if I could show you how you could lower your energy bill for free if I, I'm giving something of value to the client to the customer okay and but I want something back in return so I'm giving something of value to the customer in return for getting an LOA signed would you give me permission to get some prices for you very very simple very very effective um, I've been working with um, a little family run cafe over the last few weeks as well they have actually had their LED lights installed and they are just over the moon with how they look it's transformed the look of the cafe and I found the the owner's son who runs the cafe on a day-to-day -day basis. I phoned him up yesterday and um, I said to him, hi Fred, how you doing? Just a courtesy call. Just see how you're liking your LED lights, um, et cetera, et cetera. He said, really great. He said, just like you said, they've transformed the look of the cafe. Really, really pleased. And uh, I said, and the bonus is you've got a 72% reduction in your lighting bill. He said, yeah, I know. My, my father is absolutely over the moon fantastic by the way Fred if I could show you how you could lower your energy bill free of charge 
would you give me permission to get some prices on your behalf? Now these will be savings on top of your 72% reduction on your lighting bill. So these are extra savings. He said, really? He said, I said, yes. I said, he said, yeah, I'll, I'll have a bit of that. Um, so <clears throat> I said to him, Fred, can I come see you after Easter? I'll give you a phone call after Easter, make a date, come and see you. All I'd need from you is a typical electricity bill and your signature or your father's signature, whoever's. Yeah, fine, not a problem. Oh, before I go, if I could lower your waste bill free of charge, would you give me permission to get some prices for you? He said, well, you can help me reduce my cost on my, on my waste bill as well. I said, potentially, yes. I said, but it's not, even if we can't, if, if it turns out we can't, it's not going to cost you anything to find out. He said, come and see me. I said, that's fantastic. I said, all I need from you is a typical waste bill and we're good to go. I look forward to t chatting to you after Easter and seeing you um, make an appointment to come and see you. Have a great Easter, my friend. And that was it. Very, very simple. If I would you. It's reciprocal. You're giving away something of value in return for something from the customer. In, in, in your case, it's an LOA to be signed by the client. Very, very simple. So if you got some value from this, um, please leave a comment down below. If you've recruited people into your DUS team, please share this with them. Um, if you think they'll get some value from it, please share it. And if you want to shoot me an email, if you want to ask me any questions, um, just shoot me an email to martin.pringle at dus-limited.co.uk and I'll be happy to answer any queries you, you may have. Um, apart from that, like I said, if you have any um, comments, if you've got value from this video, leave a comment down below. Uh, that'd be much much appreciated. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.